Hey, this is your boy Bob TV, Freedom on Fire. Quick moments, um, talking about the platform and what should be in a progressive platform, what I think should be in a progressive platform, which is very important. Green Party got it. Democratic Party don't have it. The Democratic just assumed that the black race is going to continue to support them. They found out they lost a little bit of the black race to the Republican Party because they offer something to the black community. One of the things that got... Uh, Linda B. Johnson and John F. Kennedy and um, continued in the White House, White House or in the White House is um, the uh, black race came as a voting block. And not only did they come as a voting block, they brought uh, um, middle class and lower class whites with them and minorities with them from um, different races like Hispanic and, 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 and Asians and, and whatever Muslims we had at that time. They brought them into this voting block. That's why it's important to get out of the party thinking when it comes to putting people in office and come in as a block. You let them know what you want, and you tell them that if you're not willing to give this to majority of America, then you're not getting that office, and we're going to make sure you don't get an office, and we're going to find somebody who's going to follow this platform. We determine the platform. We hand it to the politician tell them this, this is our vision for America. No more vision. A politician. I don't want to know your vision, Hillary Clinton. I don't know, want to know your vision of um, uh, uh, Cory Booker or whoever plan on running. I don't want to know your vision, um, Governor Cuomo. Nobody's vision. You're going to take America vision. America is going to tell you where they want to go, and you are going to follow that. And that's the point of the platform. Now, I just talked about the platform about taking care of our veterans those who actually lay, go, those who lay down their life for the protection of the homeland, um, and also talk about um, you know giving them opt out if they don't want to participate in foolish wars without the opportunity of them trying to discharge them, you know, still being able to work. I mean, I shouldn't have to fight your foolish wars when I know it's foolish. I should be protecting the homeland. You know, now I know they got the National Guard for that, but if you have to minimize me down the National Guard. Whatever, bruh. I'm not fighting your dumb wars. If it's a legit war where the people are in crisis in the area and no fake crisis for you to get oil and gold and all the resources, but a real genuine crisis, a genocide that's been proven. Anyway, I'm getting off pace. What should I think should be in the platform? Well, if you do this, not only are you going to get a lot of black folks, you're going to get a lot of Hispanic folks. You're going to get, I would say you get majority. If you preach it hard and loud, you're going to get majority of the black votes. You're going to get majority of the Hispanic votes. You're going to get majority of the um, um, Asian American vote. And you're going to get majority of the Muslim votes or the Arab votes. I want to, I don't want to link Arab with Muslim because there's a lot of Arabs that's not Muslim <laughs> uh, or, or Islamic. So, but you're going to get the Arab vote if you do these things. It's important. And you got to preach it. You don't just put it in the platform. You got to vocally say it loud and proud. Jill Stein got it. She got it. Bernie Sanders didn't put it in the platform. Had he did it, he would have got overwhelmingly the minority vote if he preached it loud. Uh, so it is simple. Reparations. Reparations. You know, when the slaves got, um, when the Emancipation Proclamation went into um, enforcement, they were promised 40 acres in a mule, and majority of them didn't get it. They was gone. They didn't get it. They got their freedom, thank God. But they but they still have to deal with, you know, and even then, in some areas, they, they didn't recognize the freedom or nothing like that. But anyway, I digress. It's important that the progressive coalition have in this platform reparation for, first of all, the Native Americans who had the land con scheme dominated, taken, ripped from them. To have the Western European culture come to con scheme, and you know, you probably said, well, our IQs were better than theirs. No, even if it was, it's just gutless to con and scheme people out of something that belonged to them. You did not discover America, Western civilization. You didn't. And Mary? No, you didn't. And Mary? Christopher Columbus? Psh, get out of here. You didn't do nothing. You was the most horrible person 
in all of history. You are not a hero, and that's why I wouldn't even celebrate Columbus Day. No, I'd take the free pay from work <laughs> and take the day off and celebrate something else. But uh, no, you shouldn't. You don't even deserve a holiday. I wouldn't celebrate that. Anyway, I digress. The indigenous people had everything taken away from them. They, was, they had their resources taken away from them. Sound familiar? You know, they had their furs. They were fur traders. There were all kind of type of, of um, textile traders and, and, and different kind of element traders, uh, different stone traders and things like that. And, and a lot of them got slaughtered, slaughtered. Their businesses and their land was taken over through slaughter. They deserve reparation. We put them on a reservation. Okay, whoop they do They deserve to be able to have whatever they have on their reservation, whether they live on a reservation or not. They deserve reparation. Also, the African-American Post-Civil War, there were there were not that many African Americans that came to this country on their own. There probably was a few. A lot of them were slave traders. You know, slave traders came in many forms in Africa. There were black Christians. There were black Muslims. Uh, there were black British men um, who, there wasn't all white. This just went in and swooped the slaves. They sold them into, so the lesser oppressive um, the easy to dominate um, indigenous people in that country into slavery and uh, put them on boats, put them in, packed them in like sardines, hygiene and everything, just terrible. A lot of them didn't make it because of diseases and things like that. They were thrown overboard. Um, just a mess. Come to this country and then got to literally build this country from ground up and you know and then they children have to build it from ground up and then um they had to meet a quota and they didn't meet the quota they got hung or you know if they looked at the uh the spouse the wrong way they got brutally burnt um their wives was being taken from them and being raped for sexual pleasure uh by western civilized men uncivilized i would say they deserve reparation too to build this country from ground up, you look at Washington, D.C. and different areas of the country, it was the blacks that built that. And they did it for nothing. Told to go back in the field, you're a property. We don't have to pay you nothing. Eat the scrap, we don't owe you nothing. They deserve reparation. There was a lot of Hispanic that came into this country. A lot of them was brought into this country. There were, A lot of them was con into coming to this country and when they finally came in they was oppressed and dominated again by western colonial men and women they deserve reparation Chinese people came here the Asian people came here they started building the railroad and you know some of them tried to make a business for themselves and things like that same thing a lot of them was oppressed and uh, was manipulated into doing more work than ever before on the railroad, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Anybody who came into this country outside of their will and was made to contribute to the goodness and the greatness of this country outside their will, by force, by demand, by threat, deserve reparation. It doesn't matter who it is. Black, Chinese, Hispanic, and the indigenous people. Give them reparations. Figure out in the platform what it's going to be and proclaim it. Whether it's free school, whether it's housing, I don't know what we come in, but we got to give them something. You put that in the platform and preach it, you're going to get the minority vote in huge numbers. It is the right thing to do. The right thing to do, put it in the platform and watch your numbers go up. Preach it. Don't just put it in the platform. Like Jill Stein, she put it in the platform but didn't preach it. The people preached it. No, you preach it. No, we recognize that what you're going to do. The Republicans are not going to do it and the Democrats are not going to do it. 
we realized as a people what you had to go through and we promised to do certain things and we never did it for you it's time that we do it for you now it's time for doing now. that's why i think should be in the uh, platform reparation for those who are born here outside they will dominated push bruised beat down to do a work to help build this country but never got the proper pay for it let's fix that let's fix that in the progressive coalition people's coalition platform i'm bob tv peace